This next part here is going to be a fun one. Uh, this is 2.25 diameter, half inch long aluminum. It goes right here on the lathe and it holds the back side, the other side of the ball screw. Uh, put a little bearing in there. This is 1.125 OD, half inch ID, 3 8 thick, and that goes right in there. So we got to turn it down, turn it flat on each side, bore the pocket. Uh, bore enough clearance for the ball screw, like so half inch through, and um, and then take it to the mill and bolt the three bore the three bolt holes, and then there you go. So it's gonna go right there, and we're gonna make this one a little bit prettier than that one. So this part here, the code is a combination of eight separate codes that I made on the Mach 3 Wizards. Um, combination of facing, turning, fillets, boring, ID facing, ID fillets, all sort of compiled into one. Hopefully it should be pretty smooth. Um, you can see I mounted it on the spacer that we talked about before with two little spacers. My Z is zeroed on the face of that, and I pre-drilled it for quarter inch, just manually. That'll help uh, the boring operation. All right, let's go. Perfect. A bit of coolant would have made the cut a little bit better. Uh, right now I have a, an M5 to turn off the spindle and then an M00, which means pause the code. Take it out. Yeah, coolant would have just smoothed it up a tiny little bit, but looks good. Even my fingerprint is causing a mark. It's so clean. Turn her over. Hit cycle start again. Big cut. I'm sure you heard that monster cut uh, on that first fillet. So 
So that monster cut at the uh, the first pass of that fillet there um, made some pretty huge. You probably can't see that. Pretty thick chips. Um, what happened was the way the Mach 3 does fillets is it it's kind of inefficient. Um, it sort of does full radius arcs starting from outside and then moving closer and closer. So the first few cuts are always barely scratching the part. So I just deleted like the first half of the code. But that was obviously too much because that was a huge cut. Um, but that's okay. For the next part I will edit that. Change to boring bar. I'm also telling Mach 3 to do a tool change so that the offsets are different. Um, and then start up again. That was terrible. For the bearing hole, I made all the Z measurements negative when they're supposed to be positive, because I'm retarded. Be back soon. Time to make the second one, hopefully no mistakes. Like the spindle not turning on. That was supposed to be X. I don't know actually. Two point one seven. It's a little smaller than I asked it to be. I believe so. That was two point one seven. It's supposed to be two point two three. But I'm gonna keep going. The code tells me to flip apart. As I said, the X on my turning tool here is way off than where it should be due to a previous tool crash, but that's fine. The OD is non-critical.
give it a shot. Ah, a little tight. And there's chips in there. Just run that finish pass one more time and then it's good. You can see the spindle's not exactly strong enough always, so I gotta just real quick. Again, shall we? <laughs> Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then I can pop this out. Didn't quite go deep enough. Pop that out. Manually deburr it. Done. Now it gets three holes drilled and pocket milled for the bolt heads, and that's it. So I got two of those. Thanks for watching.